everybody. Welcome to Front Row Friday. It's Marilyn Sherman, and I'm coming to you live from Las Vegas. And here is my message for today. And that is, um, what is your mindset? Do you have a mindset of a high performer? And the idea for today's message came from a clubhouse interview that I listened to this morning by my friend Kat Cole. She was interviewing Dr. Ruth Goshen, who is writing a book or um, she's written a book that's coming out, um, I believe, in the next six months called Success, The Success Factor. She studies extreme high performing individuals. And people who have who are at the top of their game, they've won Nobel Peace Prizes, they've um, been Olympic champions, they have been at the top of industry. These are high performers, and she has studied them for years. And it's fascinating to me because what I learned is about the mindset that is unique to high performers versus mere mortals like you and me. So uh, here's the one thing that I took away from the conversation. I took away plenty of things. So if you ever go on a clubhouse, I would follow Kat Cole and also Dr. Ruth Goshen. Um, but here's what I learned about the difference between high performers and the rest of the world. Um, one of the things that makes them unique is that they have an an internal, well, obviously they have an intrinsic motivation. They're motivated by their passion. They're motivated by um, the work that they do. They're motivated from within. So they're not motivated by external validation, number of likes on social media. Um, so their day isn't determined by what other people think and other people validating them or not validating them. Um, they have an intrinsic motivation. And then I learned also that there's an, another term called Netflix. Uh, Netflixic. So there's intrinsic, extrinsic, and Netflixic, which is when you're motivated to just be on the couch and watch Netflix, which is um, a real thing, but it's not a real term, I don't, I don't think. But here's the one thing I learned about what sets apart high performers from everybody else is one of the pillars that she talks about is that they believe that they will succeed. There is no doubt that they will succeed. So they're activities are focused on what will move them forward in the next step to succeeding. They don't get sidetracked by doubt. They don't get sidetracked by will I or will I not succeed? They know it in their fiber, in their being that they will succeed. The other thing that um, I was able to ask a question um, about adversity, you know, what sets apart the high performers versus non-high performers when it comes to adversity? And I love Dr. Ruth's answer. She said, it's about um, them focusing, high performers focus on things that they can control. For example, uh, the Olympics were postponed by a year. So there are, are really successful athletes who said, okay, there's nothing we can do about that. So what do we do to move forward, to stay in shape, to keep practicing, to keep training in order for us to be ready when the Olympics do happen? So um, my question for you is, how are you doing with your mindset? Do you have a winner's mindset where you know in your heart of hearts that you will succeed, that you do deserve a front row seat? You will be in the front row of your life. You will change your mindset so that you can take the moment that you're in today and make it a front row moment. Or do you have a mindset of um, worrying or thinking about things that are completely and totally out of your control? Because when you focus on things that are out of your control, it doesn't serve you. So I want to inspire you today to have that mindset of a champion, that mindset of a, an extreme performer who is so successful, um, where you know in your heart of hearts that you do have a passion, you do have a purpose, and there are things that are going to be out of your control, but you are going to move forward, you're going to forge ahead, and you're going to keep moving towards the front row of your life. And I can't wait to see you get there. Thanks for watching today. And again, um, it's Marilyn Sherman, and I hope you have an amazing Front Row Friday. Bye for now.